You'll be all right, mate. It's, so you'll look faster than you actually are. It's just a nice, uh, easy walk, this one, mate. You know? Won't take as long there up here. Guys, this is where we've been for the last three nights. I'll just give her the keys anyway. Um, this is it here, guys. We're the only ones staying in this resort. There's hardly not many clothes in this case. It's all equipment. And if it goes into a full-blown lockdown, we should probably have no guests now for the next two months. Yeah, I gave her a load of washing again uh, yesterday. She gave it back, you know, 20, less than 24 hours later. Smelling lovely. And then I said, how much do we owe you? For a set of washing from him, set of washing from me. My clothes were filthy from the mud. She said 50 baht. <sighs> oh, I'm knackered. Not been up long. I think we want to get away early in this, but doesn't matter. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this temple. We're going to climb the temple, and then we're going to go to Konken. After Konken, I have no idea where we're going. See, see what happens today. I, I'm not quite sure uh, of, of the plans, but you know, we're just on the road. We're just doing what we can. We're keeping away from people. These people in here, these are like the first um, sort of people we, you know, we kind of see. Carl's in there, just getting some food. Always good to support the local Thai people. Um, obviously, they're they're struggling. The roads are. Look at this. The roads are very, very quiet. Pretty much everywhere. The only the only vehicles really on the road are big trucks. I've no idea if uh, the price obviously is going to be super cheap unless they saw the foreign coming and it's going to cost more. <laughs> <laughs> How's that called? Nice. Nice, yeah. simple fill in Thai meal. Yeah, I think that's your favourite, isn't it? I think it's Ways. most foreigners' favourite, isn't it? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I think it's most Thai's favourite as well. Yeah, yeah. it's just sort of tasty, yeah. simple, cheap. Yeah. Right, guys, we're here at a place called Wat Khao Chom Pom. And I got that right. Um, Carl brought us up here. It is literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, country lanes, rough roads. Uh, now we've got to climb. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's pretty civilised. There's a bit of scrambling right at the top. It's just but... pushing me, yeah? It's pushing me to the limits. <laughs> and he always says that. He always says, it's just a little bit of a climb. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm you know, eight kilometres up no, somewhere. No, this one, 15 minutes, we'll be up there, mate. Oh, sure. I've heard ducks fart before. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> In our efforts to bring you off the beaten track places, we're now at a place called Wat John Tom, which is near Conbury, which isn't too far from Karat. Basically, it's, it's another mountain temple. It's not the highest one, it's just like a, like a rocky outcrop with a, with a plateau at the top where they've got things. But it's, it's a nice little day trip. I'd call this one, you could do this one as a family adventure. No, lost already. We've not even started the trail yet. How many steps here, Carl? I have no idea. Cracky. Never ending. Yeah, just a nice uh, steady stroll today. Easy. He didn't tell me it's all steps. Cracky. Here we go again. Huh? It's just a small hike. You are having a laugh. I mean, at least it's steps, that's the one thing, but the, that's the worst thing as well. It's getting a bit steep and again, getting a bit hot, he says. We haven't got too far to go, but for some reason, it doesn't believe me. I don't believe anything you say. <laughs> Is the view worth it? It's a fair view. Look at that. Just got this bit to go here. It's getting warm now. I wonder how they get these up here. I wouldn't like to do that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Carving in the rocks here. <laughs> cool. I'll stay here, mate. It's nice and cool here. Whew. Wow, we climbed all the way up here, guys. Don't worry, it's an easy one, this. We'll be up here in no time. It is easier, but it's physical. It's hot. Mind your head. <laughs> Gotta climb these rocks now. Oh, that kind of fence. Be careful, that fence. Damn. Imagine leaning on that. Yeah. So, guys, I think we've now reached the summit. Although, <laughs> that looks like a bit up there. Oh my god, there's a nice breeze here. Look at this for a view, guys. And I'm telling you what, the view breezy and I was like, it's like having the aircon on the car full whack. Fantastic. Wow. Where are you up? Make sure that branch is okay. That is a fair drop down here. Definitely um, a dead man if Carl pushes me now. Probably feels like pushing me. What a view. Now we've definitely reached the summit. I can't see no more rocks above me. Whew. Wow. We are at the summit of Wat Khao Chom Tom Temple. It is absolutely stunning, spectacular views up here. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. The countryside of, of Thailand, whether north or south, is just amazing. It's not just all about Pattaya and the bars and the, the tourist resorts. You come to places like this and it's just so peaceful. Because the benefit for me is that I'm probably getting fit doing this. Um, uh, I think I've dropped a few kilos already uh, and I intend to drop a few more uh, climbing these things. And I know I'm moaning all the time because it is a killer, but um, no no pain, no gain, as they say. It's not very often I do this, but considering we're here in Isan at Wat Khao Chom Tong Temple, I'm going to ring the bell. <laughs> Drinks are on me! That's the lake overlooking the mountain. We'll have to see if we can get down to that beach and take pictures, you know, if we can see up here from down there. You know, because I think that would be quite interesting getting a, a different angle. Yeah, being bitten again by bugs. Ooh. Oh, we've got a, a gold temple here. Uh, a gold Buddha, should I say. Wow. It gets me how they get these things up here. All done by hand as well. Cool. Carry, I've seen them do it, carrying the, this kind of stuff up. But wow, look at this view here. Here we go again, another viewpoint. So basically this rock seems to go all the way around and you can get, you can basically get a view northwest, east, south. Nice aircon again. I'm loving this. I think the, the, the weather at the moment, up in Isam, um, it's rain season, but it, to me it's perfect. It's not too hot. Probably where we were before in Khao Yai was perhaps a little bit cold for me. Um, having not um, seen the, the, you know, having been in 35 degree temperatures uh, and then going down to 22, it did feel a bit nippy. I know 22 is not cold, but believe me it is when you've been used to steaming hot weather all the time. So we've got a drone up guys, but we've got a problem. The birds are attacking it, so we're gonna have to bring it down. And uh, Literally every time we get it up, loads of birds come from nowhere. They have no idea what it is. Uh, they're swarming it, so we don't want to damage a bird. Uh, but it's loads of birds. So unfortunately, we won't get much from this. That was much easier coming down than going up. That was quite easy actually. 
Um, we came down a different route then, and it's just we we saw the clouds rolling in, so we're just um, trying to make it to the car now. It's starting to rain, um, and then we're going to get off and we're going to go to Conquena. Guys, that's the end of this video. We are actually in the city of Konken. We've come to this hotel, which is English owned. We are allowed here. And guess who's turned up here? Say hello, John. Hi. <laughs> right, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.